Ani. We're back again with our show in dying. This one, we're going to talk about fishing. Gigon kewen is the way what we call it. Gigon kewen. All right. So here we go. Gigon ke is the word for fishing. The verb gigon ke. Okay. The type of fishing we're going to do that too. Okay. This this type of with with the fishing rod ndamu jige. Okay. For the plural, if it was more than one, okay. If you wanna to say to your friend, "Hey, let's go fishing," ambe pagi gunke da. That's the way you would say it. All right. So they are fishing. Gigunke wok. All right. We're not talking about the type of fishing. Just that one. What we talked about this uh, with the fishing rod, damojige. All right. Now let's go with the male and the female. Gigon ke nene for the male. Gigon ke nenwok for the plural. For the female. Gigon ke nenikwe. Plural. Gigon ke nenikwe. All right. Trying to add as much of these on here because a lot of you people that you send me notifications, you forgot this, you forgot. <laughs> so I, I'm learning, try to really put as much as I can into these. All right. A net, a gill net, we call sub in our, in our language, sub. Um, and uh, for the plural, sabik. My grandpa used to have one of these by the beach. Fixes nets and everything like that. All right, now putting in the gill net, putting you're putting it into the water and getting it out. That's two different words. All right, so putting it into the water, begidwa. Okay, all you native fishermen out there, listen to these words. Okay, you should be doing the, you should be saying these words in your act. Okay, you're you're allowed to fish with the gill net. Okay, begidwa. For the plural, begidwa wuk. Now you're going to get the net, retrieving the net. Nad sabi is the word. They are going to get the net. Nad sabi wuk. Okay. All right. Good words here. Good words. Okay. A fishing rod. Megiskana tig. Plural. Megiskanatigun. All right. For the hook. Okay. Megiskan. Megiskanan. For the hooks. All right. <laughs> All right. Some of you may not like this picture. Okay. <laughs> but that's what we use. That's what the fish love to eat. Okay. Shamausawin is always used for uh, bait. That's what you're saying. Shamausawin. Your tackle box. Okay. Megiskan mkak. Megiskan mkak on. For the plural. Okay. And here's some more. A fake bait. Okay. Shamao sawin. Sinkers. Okay. The sinkers. Shkikaman. Plural. Shkikamanak. Okay. For just rope, sabab, plural, sababin. All right. All right, now the type of fishing. Now, uh, I've learned it this way with uh, uh, ice fishing. Where ebna be? And uh, some areas may use it a different word. I don't know, but that's the way I was uh, raised. Where ebna be wok? They are ice fishing. Okay, and this guy, he's got an auger. Okay, mkomi bim nagagan. Plural, mkomi bim nagaganan for the plural. All right, now when I, I see these ice fishermen now, oh man, they got little shacks out there. No, everything's in there. All right, uh, now 
uh, for me, I had to build my own shelter. My grandpa taught me, you pile up the ice all around. After a while, after a few days, a few weeks, you got a nice little shelter all around you. Um, and uh, he didn't give me an auger. He gave me an old axe that he didn't want to use anymore. And that's, that's what I used to chop my way through the ice. And uh, this was years ago. I didn't even have a fishing rod. Okay, he took a piece of wood like this, okay, and he, he put a notch on the end, put a notch on the other end, and put a line around it, and that was my fishing rod. <laughs> it was fun. I had a good time. I caught some fish, and oh man, it was it was cold though. I didn't ha I didn't have anything on the top. Okay, I didn't have one of these. Where <laughs> Ebenabi and look at that, all these, man, oh man, they go to town. Okay, what do we use when we go fishing? We'll need a G-mon, a boat, canoe, okay? That's what you say, G-mon. What do we need with that boat? Jebwagen. Jebwagenan. For the plural. The type of water. What do you mean type of water? Well, tqueen ma means it's shallow. Kunin ma, if it's deep. Alright? You got to know those things, where the fish are. Where you're going to put your net. Alright? Alright. Outboard motor. Jimane nakiwas. Plural. Jimane naki ons adn. Okay. For the anchor, bun kajagadn. Bun kajagadn. For the plural. Oh, this one is very, very important. If you don't have this, oh boy, you're going to be trying to find your net, trying to find your spot. Okay. A buoy, a sign. Kin watch chigadn. Plural. Can watch chiganun. Okay. And the word for cleaning fish, like we did for the uh, cleaning the, uh, uh, what was it? The deer. Okay. Pkaja e is to clean fish. Pkaja e wok for the plural. All right. So that's my little video on fishing. I hope it brought some good words to you, maybe some words you didn't know before. So um, uh, if you guys want me to do other things, all right, I'm doing these at your request, a lot of them. I'm going to do a real tough one. I'll talk about that a little later on. All right. Chimi wech kabzin do yek mino. Wingezik na. Habi wech.